Now this, whether it's lobster, blueberries, whoopie pies, or moxie, Maine has plenty of iconic foods. Eel really isn't one of them. However, it is very popular in sushi and other Asian dishes, and there's one business owner in Maine determined that eel on those plates should be grown right here in Maine. Don Kerrigan decided to see and taste for himself. Every spring, the Madomic River here in Waldeboro is a prize spot for fishermen to catch those tiny little glass eels called elvers. And those same eels are now at the heart of a new and growing Maine business. Pound for pound, it's one of Maine's most lucrative fisheries. These tiny eels can sell for $2,000 a pound or even more. And for years, they were all being shipped to China. So mid-size. Until Sarah Redemaker had an idea. There's this really valuable resource here in Maine, but the entirety of it's getting shipped abroad. It's being grown over there and then imported back. I asked the question of why isn't anybody doing it here? And um, was there an answer? It wasn't a good enough one. Her answer is right here in Waldeboro, American Unagi. That's the Japanese word for this eel. We've got oh, well over a million total. A million eels are now growing in these tanks. The big ones, she says, are ready for harvest and sale. Others, even though they're the same age, grow more slowly. Redemaker says it's one of the peculiar traits of the species, which, despite their snake-like looks, are really fish. Yes, I get that question a lot about whether or not eels are fish. They are. They are fish, yeah. So they've got gills, they have very tiny scales. And most of those tiny, high-priced glass eels caught in Maine are sent to China where they're grown in ponds and eaten in Asia in sushi and other dishes. But enough eels are sent back to the U.S. that Redemaker, who already had a background in aquaculture, saw the opportunity. I also looked at the U.S. market. So we import 11 million pounds of eels. I'm going to be producing an eel that's way better, but it also costs me more to produce in the U.S. They harvest every week, and she says restaurants love them. We're all over the U.S. Yeah, some of our biggest customers are actually in the Midwest. It's crazy the, the recipes that we see being put together with our eel products too. Like it's, it's not just sushi, um, it's you know, you know, top star Michelin restaurants that are just making these incredible dishes that involve our products. And that's something that I think everybody on the team is really proud to be part of. I had not eaten eel on this level before I got here. And now obviously I cook it every day. Kelsey Woodworth has worked as a chef and is now head of marketing for American Unagi. Um, and it's funny, it's, it's a very unique fish to cook. There's just new ways every day. We get new restaurants every day from all over the world, you know, um, cultures all over the world, you know, and restaurants here in the U.S. that call us for this eel. So even as a non-adventurous eater... So what do you do, just like take a little piece, yeah. a piece of that and the rice? No. I had to try it. Japanese style, cooked eel with rice. A little bit fishy. Mm -hmm. but not bad. Mm -hmm. And jam-packed full of vitamin D. And smoked eel. Sarah says it's very popular. This is a snack, um, but okay. it's, it's salty and smoky. Which was, even for someone not big on smoke, not quite not good. Real. It's interesting. I taste the smoke. I don't taste fish, really. Yeah. Their primary market is restaurants, but Sarah says they're also starting to aim for home cooks through fish markets like Delano Seafood up the road, which has just started selling American Unagi's main eel. The business is new, but growing, adding value to a main harvested fish. A pound of eels grown out is worth about $14,000. Hmm. So it can, it can more than double. Wow. That's, uh, that's some serious value added. It is, absolutely. And for Sarah Redemaker, this farm, the eels in these tanks, and those going out the door to diners around the country are the realization of a dream she's been working at for 10 years. What do you think when you look at this in this tank? Uh, I, it, there's a lot of emotions, Don. <laughs> I mean, it's, I'm really proud. Uh, it's... Uh, 
it's, you know, amazing. I'm always amazed by these fish, but um, yeah, and it's, it takes a lot of work and there's a lot of love, not only for me, but all of my team. From something so tiny and a good idea, a main business and brand are growing. You know him, you love him. That was Don Kerrigan reporting. That eel farm cost a little more than $10 million to build, and they have 10 employees. The farm has been open for two years, and the owners say that they expect to have all of the tanks filled with growing eels this year.